Good evening, and on behalf of the Darlington Y Cabinet, the concert choir, the fourth and fifth grade choir, the orchestra, and the brass ensemble, welcome to the 40th annual service of Lessons and Carols, Darlington's longest standing school-wide event with over 90 students participating this year. This traditional service, which originated in 1878 at Truro Cathedral in Cornwall, England, celebrates the genesis of the Christian faith, the birth of Christ. The service is built around nine biblical lessons, beginning with the creation in Genesis and rising to the incarnation according to the Gospel of St. John. Between the readings, a series of carols and anthems is presented. Following each lesson, the reader will say the word of the Lord, and the congregation should respond, thanks be to God. Since this is a religious service, we request that there be no applause during the service. The entire service, including the congregational hymns, is printed in the program. Mr. Bell will begin the service with the bidding prayer, followed by the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas tide, let it be our delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth, and goodwill among all God's people, for unity and fellowship within the church he came to build, and especially in this, our campus community. And because this would make him glad, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to God in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
First lesson. God announces in the Garden of Eden that the seed of a woman shall bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of thee in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all cattle and above all wild animals. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The word of the Lord. God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your descendants shall all the nations of the earth bless themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord.
Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They dwell that in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them hath the, sh the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts this will perform. The word of the Lord. that Christ will bring is foreshown. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteous shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea, the word of the Lord.
the angel Gabriel salutes the blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your room and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord.
St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The word of the Lord. The shepherds go to the manger, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, and saying glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, 
and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. The word of the Lord. Wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And assembling the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will govern, govern my people Israel. And Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, Bethlehem saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went their way, and lo, the star which had, they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy, and going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The word of the Lord.
St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the begin. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was, be- was coming in- into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, the word of the Lord. Before closing, I would like to extend our heartfelt thanks to all those who made this event possible, from our student and faculty participants, to our facility services, to Darlington's Upper School Tiger Pride. You have each given much in your own ways to support this special moment in Darlington's school year. At the conclusion of my prayer, we will process outside to sing carols by the lakeside. Um, Might be a little bit wet out there, so watch where you step. Um, As you leave the chapel tonight, take a moment to appreciate the Christmas tree by the lakeside, an annual tradition made possible by Mrs. Betty Wright Ledbetter, a gift to Darlington, lovingly given in memory of her parents, Dr. and Mrs. E.L. Wright. Let us pray. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, 
who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. And now may God, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.